Uh, all right, y'all. Uh, this is a uh, cat's pajamas, aka cat's PJs, aka cat's pajamas skis. And you're listening to the cat's pajamas radio show. And I have a uh, uh, kind of somewhat special. And normally I have special guests, but this is kind of somewhat special guests. Uh, but they're pretty cool dudes. They're from uh, uh, what, you all from San Antonio? Well, we're. We've migrated here. We've migrated here. Yeah, for sure. Oh, where y'all from? Yeah, so all of us graduated high school from the 956. So wait, wait, wait. You're telling me you guys graduated? Uh, I barely did, yeah. <laughs> that makes more sense. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, yeah. Jared, gradu- you graduated Harlingen, right? Uh, so Harlingen, uh, uh, Alex is Laredo, uh, Boncho's Edinburgh, and I'm Macau. So we're all original. Like, we all got roots in the 956, but 210 is definitely... I, what I call home now, but there's nothing like my hometown. No disrespect to the 956. It always feels good going back there. So. All right, there you go. Homo's naked. I mean, you look, home is where you make it, is what yeah. I meant to say. But yeah, so I got as I doze myself here. So I'm going to pass the mic, and uh, you all say a little something about yourselves. Introduce yourselves, uh, and I'll, I'll go first, you know. Um, my name's Cat's Pajamas, and... Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I love to party. Uh, here you go. What's up, guys? I'm Pancho. I play guitar and as I do this myself. Um, and I also make tapes. That's production. If you ever need tapes, hit me up. Whoa. Cassette tapes. Cassette tapes. Cassette tapes. Cassette tapes. Cassette tapes. What, like mixtapes? Like 90s uh, mixtapes? No. Yeah, I mean, I can make mixtapes. They're usually like, like our tapes. You know, our uh, EP. Like uh, if a band releases an EP on yeah. Spotify and they don't have a physical copy. And they oh, need- look. We go. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Like How it. can there we go? That's what's up. Yeah. Dude, that's hot. That's hot. Yeah. Uh, All right, cool, man. Here uh, you go, sir. All right. My name is Dave Cave, the Davatron. I play bass guitar, and as I dose myself and we discussed earlier that I'm the rule follower of the band, but <laughs> but also a bunch of made it clear that I also only follow my own rules that I create. <laughs> So I guess I'm the structured one, but I have to create the structure to follow that structure. Word. All right, I'm gonna pass it on down here. Here you go. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you're good right there. My name is Jared. Um, I play the drums, and as I dust myself. Ow! Yeah. And this is out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Alex. I sing, oh, and as I dose myself. What's yeah, up, honeys? I also yeah. sell real estate here in San Antonio. So oh, if you're looking to buy, sell, rent, invest, I got you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. So there you have it. Um, Thanks for joining uh, Cat's Pajamas Radio Show. We'll catch you next time. Ow! Later. Nah, Nah, dude. You know, speaking of rules, actually, uh, before we uh, say goodbye, um, I see here there's uh, some rules here. And so I'm going to go through these rules um, if you want to capture that here. So I'm holding up this this terribly framed paper. (laughs) It's super fucking dusty. Now my hands are full of God knows what the fuck is that. There's some the sticky substance. For those of y'all listening and not seeing, I have some sticky, weird substance on my hands now. Dog, uh, <laughs> fresh home cooking. <laughs> Whatever it is. Um, but these are the 10 party commandments. So uh, who wrote these? Uh, it's a combination of friends uh, partying, sitting around a, a circle, t- like knights of the round table. And we just kind of all agreed that, <laughs> that these should be the 10 party commandments. Because everyone likes to party, right? But... Right. Sometimes a party turns into jail or death oh, or shit. things like that. So we kind of figured right. that we'd uh, like, how can we party and have the most fun with the least amount of consequences? So. Man, I, yo, I dig that. Yo, yo, man, yo, for real, that is super dope. Um, yeah, because that's just not fucking cool. I've lost a lot of friends, unfortunately, due to uh, partying and shit. That's just lame, fucking mm. whack as fuck. You know, I'm here sipping my uh, hot tea. Um, yeah. Thanks to Dave, much appreciated. It's- uh, it tastes it's some high quality tea. But let's get into this uh, 10 party commandments, if you will. Uh, number one, no crack or Rogaine. 
<laughs> is that what that says? <laughs> I'm gonna guess it says cocaine because it, it makes more sense. But it looks like it says Rogaine here. Uh, no crack of cocaine. Uh, We're at that age where we kind of. Yeah, the Rogaine was right. Yeah, you had to write the first time. That makes sense. That makes sense. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, yeah, um, so I guess uh, Rick James is not invited, or he would not be invited. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, rest in peace, Rick James, man. Um, number two, uh, no cock blocking. Yeah. Alright. No one likes that shit, you know. If you, if, you, if you can't pull the tail, don't ruin it for everyone else, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Alright, 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 that did that, <laughs> Don't you, you a cock blocker? I'm not. <laughs> okay, just making sure, just getting everybody involved. Here. Uh, all right, number three, no unprotected sex. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. No yeah. one likes that one. <laughs> what? But it's okay. It, it gets it gets into more detail as you read on the next few ones. Okay, yeah. here we go. <laughs> all right, number four, uh, no beer pong or bongs in the house okay. beer bongs not marijuana bongs like it's like if you're gonna do that shit like do it in the garage or outside like it gets a big funnel yeah yeah <laughs> if you're gonna do a bit because like it's it's kind of hard to change. contain yeah like, we usually do it at john cooper's house so don't mind yeah. it. <laughs> 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 This is interesting. Do you guys like pass this on? Like when someone comes in to party, Actually, just never, like, I don't uh, think I've ever seen that before. So <laughs> I've been hanging out this house for like three years. They're taped on the front door, yeah, they're, but, they're, 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 but, they're, the front but door. they're a super small font. It's kind of like yeah. when you oh. sign a contract with like. Because like, I don't agree with any of these so far. <laughs> Oh shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Yo, this is I'm not gonna lie, when I first came, came to Dave's house, like, yeah. yeah, before the band even started, yeah. he texted me, I was out of town, he goes, I already broke rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like the first time my old band yeah. reinforced was on, right. was on, on, on tour, yeah. and Dave was out of town. And, and since this is like, a hippie commune, and people, yeah. bands come in and out of here all the time. He and, kinda, I, and I was just like, oh shit, I already broke rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you got the rogue in, your yeah, hair looks yeah, great. Yeah. Your hair looks great. <laughs> <laughs> so, I haven't lost any hair. So I forgive you. <laughs> you are forgiven, man. <laughs> Number five, oral sex is okay. Oral sex is more than okay. It's yeah. great. Yeah. I, I am all for it. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Penis tastes gross, but uh, hey, to each their own. Different right. vibes for different tribes. Um, yeah. Nah, I never taste the penis, just so you guys know. <laughs> That's it. Uh, we're gonna cancel. Uh, <laughs> cancel. Don't forget it. I didn't say that. Fuck. We're gonna edit that shit. Uh, anyways, um, yo, uh, what was that yet, man? Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Cabrones. Uh -huh. Don't borrow money. Give it away. Yeah. Right, who fucking came? Yeah, who I don't broke that. Broke that. Broke that. <laughs> I am breaking all of these. Look, look, look. I just feel like, like. The odds are no one's gonna fucking pay you back. So like if someone <laughs> gives you like like hey bro can you can you spot me this I time for so. Waterburger or spot me for pizza I'm just like you know what dude just forget it like I'll just buy it for you like I don't give a fuck like I got it right when I tell some people like when I got it I got it when I don't I don't so right now I don't so if y'all are <laughs> looking for a handout yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, not the guy who comes to the store I'm like <laughs> yeah I just uh, don't say you yeah. <laughs> There you go. As I dose myself, gives money away. Yeah. Number seven, <laughs> all fist fights in designated areas outside, preferably. Yeah. All right, cool. That makes sense. You know, you don't want to break shit. This is a dope ass house. I yeah, out. like, what if someone like it's okay? You need to settle something, but like, if the fucking PA falls over or the yeah, you know, we got we got expensive guitars now. We we're not we're not rocking squires anymore. You know, so it's like, damn, bro, yeah, like, true. it's gonna turn into <laughs> even more of a mess if you break some. Of our shit, you know, so word, yeah. All right, uh, number eight, don't drink and drive, sleep on, uh, yeah, sleep on the sofa. Sleep this on. the one that oh, we there we go. I didn't finish it, yeah, all right. Uh, I was like, sleep on, I guess, dude. yeah, sleep on, bro. sleep <laughs> on, man, party, uh, no, uh, sleep, sleep on, on the sofa, sleep we don't mind, yeah, <laughs> sleep uh, on, sleep yeah. on. Keep Sleep on. No, yeah, fuck yeah. There's guest good. beds also. Yeah, really? yeah. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna have to do a little MTV crib style. Yeah, so <laughs> that'd be pretty bad. Yeah. All right, number nine. Clean your messes. Uh, slash life up. Yeah. So 
that kind of goes with the MTV Cribs. Like, um, we don't have a functioning toilet right now, so you have to fill up a bucket <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and pour it into the commode. Sometimes people didn't grow up in a home that had that those type of situations, so we kind of have to... Dig a hole? Jerry gonna, digs yeah, a hole. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, or you could dig a hole outside. That oh, goes yeah. back to the designated... Oh, just pee where you want, like the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> outside! <laughs> outside! Outside! Human! Number 10. <laughs> this is the last party commandment, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the music must never stop. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, it gets pretty dull when the music starts. Kind of like, what are See, we See, I agree with that one. The rest of the <laughs> <laughs> We got one! We got one. We got one. We got one. We have more than enough. It's just like the go. real Ten Commandments. I agree with all of them. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I dig it. Yeah, um, you agree with one out of ten of the party commandments? Or, like, more than that? No, just one. Just one. <laughs> That's how I am with the real Ten Commandments. Yeah, I'm going to deal with one. I think I'm like one or two. Thou shalt not steal. Oh, I thought... I don't like my shit. Like, don't take it from me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I dig that. I dig that. Uh, yeah. Alright. Alright, so let's get to it. I might as well ask the question. Let's get the fucking regular radio show yeah, yeah, question yeah. out the way. <laughs> um, as I doze myself, uh, everybody wants to know. Everybody keeps bugging me and it's getting fucking annoying. That's why I asked yeah. you guys to be on the show because everyone keeps messaging Cat's Pajamas. Uh, uh, ask Cat's if I doze myself this. Cat's Pajamas, ask doze myself, blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, dude, I don't even fucking know these guys. Why should I, <laughs> why should I ask them? But yeah. here I am, and I'm finally going to ask the questions the people right. you have been wanting to know. Uh, where did the band name come from? Uh, Amazon.com. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. Uh, basically, we uh, a prank on a friend. Uh, he was at South Padre Island. And a uh, situation where he dosed himself. And he thought he was a scientist or something. He said, as a, he claims he didn't say it first, but he was the one that said it like 77 or 78 times. <laughs> no, which one is it? 77 like, or 78? Uh, Counting. If we had it, yeah, if we had it dosed ourselves, then we probably might know the yeah. exact number. But, you know, technology wasn't as advanced back then. So, yeah, but you count it up to 78 or 77. Yeah. Like, that's pretty good, dude. Yeah, yeah, but check it. You know how, like, they have the watch and the phone to, like, count your steps? Like, right. we, we didn't have that technology to count the amount of uh, statements on the dosage, you know? So, basically, it was a prank. Like, to like every time we see him, we always joke, like, you joke on him, like, as I dose myself or what? And he's like, oh, God, why are y'all bringing that up? And then there was, like, we didn't couldn't think of a name for this band that we right, were making right. during the pandemic. And we're like, Let's just call it as I dose myself, you know, and then yeah, like yeah, so yeah. that when we release our first EP, we can send him the Bandcamp link and see how he reacts. Word. And that was that was that so was. So we bad. started a band just to play a joke on him first. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. All right, I dig yeah. it. Yo, Gore started the same way. Gore yeah. was a, uh, you know, I was talking to this guy Matt Cinematic about um about movies and stuff and uh, how that band Gore started it was a movie. Yeah, it's a documentary. Yeah, it's all documentary. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, it's no like way! Shit. Fucking love Gore. Dude. No <laughs> way! Yeah, it was a great. documentary, a fake band before it was a real band. Gore, yeah. yeah, yeah. No way! Band, and wow. it started. Yeah. They, were, they were film students. They were what? Film students, dude. They were film students. Oh, fun Geeks. fact! Fun fact! I don't know which one, but I can find out later. My sister comes out in a Guar music video. <laughs> She's on my uh, or her husband's now husband back then boyfriend. She's on his shoulders and they're filming like at a Guar concert and she's like in the background and shit. Dude, hell yeah, yeah. shout out sisters, dude. Yeah. Yeah, oh, sisters yeah. rock. The sisters yeah. are kick ass. Uh -huh. Fuck, yeah, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just played it cool. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude, with that documentary, that for sure it started off as a joke, man. That's what's up, man. Shit. Yeah. So then you said, um, you mentioned to this to me twice already or three times or something. I don't know. I don't I don't have a clip mm -hmm. of it like you do. But yeah. uh, you said that this started off as a pandemic thing. So are you yeah. guys a uh, uh, result of the pandemic? We're pretty right? pretty much, yeah. So, um, I don't know. Sidebar. Yeah, yeah. Do you know today is like the first, like the anniversary of our first show? Really? Well, yeah. Whoa. Like that pandemic Whoa. show, like. No way. Yeah, it was May 31st. Dude, was hell it the yeah. House show? There you go. The house show? Oh. No, no, no. We played at that random ass fucking place downtown. Break. Oh, oh shit! That's oh, right. Remember we played there that live yeah, thing because nobody can come out because of the pandemic, right. and then, that then that's then we had to go right. back yeah, a couple yeah. months later. We had to go back. <laughs> the first thing we were supposed to go. So shout out to Noah from uh, Any Color You Like and Mr. Pidge. He, yeah, he always dude. throws uh, them and all their little clique 
of friends that are super cool people. Um, right, they right, threw, right. Uh, it's called Summer Vibes, and that year they kept it going, even though with the pandemic, and uh, they were like, they're gonna, you go to Brick, the people are gonna film you guys, and then we'll post it later. And I was like, okay, cool, we go. And we just happened to be the band that, like, that they couldn't fix the cameras or some shit, so they had to reschedule, <laughs> which was cool because yeah, yeah. the band was so fresh and so new. Alex had only come to, like, had just joined the band, and and uh, like I think two weeks before that shit or something, like he had yeah, shown yeah, up yeah. like to like three band practices while Boncho did all the riffage, and we kind of sent we kinda, like did a like at home demo, and I did vocals, but I didn't want to be the singer, so we sent it to Alex, and he has a, a solo project called Midnight Eyes. And when I heard it, I knew I wanted him oh, shit. to be the singer of this band because it's like to have the balls to put out a solo project from a guy who has a hardcore punk hardcore background takes right. a lot of balls because like usually punk hardcore kids they stay stuck in that realm and they don't really branch out. Right, not right, not to right. talk shit like but no yeah yeah yeah. It's yeah. usually like that you know and uh, I always wanted to branch out more than hardcore even though I love punk hardcore music hardcore I'll be you know that's what got me in the game. And I love going to hardcore shows and I, you know, mad love to the hardcore kids out there that keep it going. But uh, just when I heard his solo project, Midnight Eyes, I had to message him and I had to. We grew up having mutual friends over the years. So right, right. Uh, when, when he agreed to, to come to practice and jam and then we got offered that show, um, we, we just jumped on it. We actually got asked, I think Noah asked Medusa Complex to play, but at the time the singer was out of town. Like he was a student in and left town to his hometown, so he wasn't in town. He wasn't in town for like a month. I was like, "Look, yo, he's out, but I have a new band." And I don't know why. I just like took the initiative to be like, "Yeah, we're ready to play shows, even though we were not." <laughs> but but we yeah. you know we made it happen. That's the yeah. I guess that's the punk rock motto, right? Like you just gotta go out there. You can't just, just fucking be, do it. Yeah, just do it. Just do yeah. it. Like just Nike. Just, just do, do it. it. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. So yeah. I guess that's how. That today's the anniversary of that. Shout out. Thank you, Noah, for yeah, taking yeah. a risk on the band and going new. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you can do it. Put your back into it. That's right. That's what they say. But, um, shit, dude. Um, you know, the, um, what's up? What's up? Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. So, James, that's what they say. I just finished what you said. I just finished the other half to the verse. Can you say it again? No. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the other part is. You can do it. Put your ass into it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I already said. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit, we keep missing damn, it. Man. God damn this cheap microphone, man. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> this is awful. Oh wells, man. But uh, yeah, you know, um, I was talking to Matt Cinematic. Shout out Matt Cinematic. He's behind the camera right That's now. Right. That's um, right. Um, uh, super cool homie. But he said this the other day, and I've been quoting him ever since. But uh, dude, he's and I like the way he said. He said, man, since COVID, I'm, I'm butchering it. Right, I'm not quoting it per se, right? What's that? Verbatim. Do you have a um, clicker? Yeah, what's the fucking clicker? <laughs> <laughs> he, said, um, he said, dude, it's because of COVID, there's been a creative renaissance. Mm. That sounds cool as mm. fuck. Dude, there has been. There's a, there's a lot of people doing cool shit because of that. Right. A lot of people like lost their jobs, lost their opportunity, or uh, realized, yeah, they got stuck at home and realized that they had to make their own opportunity happen uh, for their dreams. So it's, it's, uh, it's wild. That's how Alex, you know, you went full in on real estate, right? Like right before the pandemic hit. I went full in for a lot of things during the pandemic. So I went yeah. full in like with my real estate career during that time. It worked out great. This band, uh, my other band, Realms of Death, and then also my solo project <clears throat> and uh, just kept moving. You know, took that yeah, inspiration yeah. that, I, you know, everybody's masked up, everybody's fucking bummed out, everybody's all pissed off and mm -hmm. use that yeah, fire yeah. to... Make some, some cool shit happen. Make some people happy, so. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Dude, man. Alex, man. Um, dude, that's badass, dude. I, I really dig your singing style. I really dig it a lot. And um, Thanks. And I saw that you guys had a covered anything, anything. And I, I don't like covers, man. I fucking, I was like, oh, man, he's gonna fuck this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like, I like Drama Rama and, um, you know, yeah. from Nightmare on Elm Street on uh, the soundtrack in the movie. They play almost the whole damn song. 100%. Um, it's pretty fucking badass. And so I was weary to listen to it. And I like, took some time to hear it. And then I heard it and I was like, fuck, dude, it sounds fucking awesome, man. You guys did a great fucking job. And you, you didn't butcher it. You did, did, you oh, did it your you. way. And uh, that's that's fucking awesome because a lot of people they cover songs and then they 
almost trying to mimic or mm-hmm. imitate this person singing, mm-hmm. but it still sounded like as I do it myself. It wasn't you guys fucking trying to copy it. You guys made it your own shit. So mm-hmm. kudos to you guys, man. You guys. Oh, dude, thank you so much. Yeah, with, with that cover song, I mean, it was it was a cool song. I'm I'm glad all the dudes wanted to do it. But definitely, like, I always see covers as you're not mirroring what somebody did before. Right. You're playing tribute to them. Right. And uh, and you still want to do it in your own way to reflect your band. But maybe you want to give, you know, somebody the shot. Like, I don't know, maybe one day somebody's going to pick up the CD and be like, yo, like, who's drama Rama? Right. They're going to yeah. fall into that rabbit hole, right? right. Because right. of that one song. Like, that that is, I don't know. No, but that's that, a- that is what I want to do. Like, right. that. Right. That's happened to me before too, where I'm like, I'm jamming a song, I'm like, damn, this is a badass song, and then I didn't know, I never read the credits, and then later, someone's singing that song or playing it somewhere, and then I'm like, oh shit, that's that's not a Papa Roach song. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Are you talking about yeah. something in particular? Yeah, like? yeah. well, like, like, uh, gouge, they cover Gouge Away by Pixies. Oh, I, yeah. The, oh, okay, so there you go. Yeah. 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 That's a great example. I'm a poser. I'm a 100% yeah. poser. That was like my favorite song on the album. I never had, I had, this was, I'm from the era where we burn CDs and shit. So, like, I yeah, never had the credits. Cr- yeah, I never had the credits for that <laughs> shit. You know, my, my girlfriend at the time, she, she burned me a copy of it, and I was just like, damn, I liked how it started with the bass line. And, I had heard a couple of Pixie songs, but I never like knew who the fuck they were, you know. So I thought it was like them, and then later I heard the original, and I was like, "Oh shit, this sounds analog. This sounds like this is the band that did it first, you know." For sure, and there's always that. Yeah. There's always that thing in music, like where a band covers another band. Like I, you know, yeah. I have mine. I'm sure Pancho has his, Jared has his. Um, that you can see where the influence comes from. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why they picked that song to cover right. it. But you go back to the original, and it's like a million times better, right? Because they're like yeah, the OGs, right, 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 right. And 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 then you fall into this rabbit hole, and then you find your new favorite band from there, and it just keeps going. Yeah, um, yeah it's yeah, a beautiful, yeah. it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually crying right now. Um, right on. <laughs> close up on the teardrops, man. That's a one tear, just like the Indian crying yeah. <laughs> at the piece of trash on the side of the road. I don't know if you remember that shit. <laughs>